All right, guys, we're at the point now where we turn this steel into a blade, and we do that by heat treating. For this particular alloy, what I've done is just harden it and not anneal it. And I find that there's not enough carbon in it that it really needs to be annealed. You can do it if you want, um, and there's all kinds of stuff on the internet about you know, philosophies and theories. But uh, the guy I learned from, Bill Stroman, he does it this way, and uh, that's how I learned, and that's how I continue to do it. And I've tested them too. I've tried breaking them, and I can't do it with shock. So I think this is a good way to go. I'm gonna light up the forge, and we'll talk a little bit about what's going on here. So what I've got here is just an ordinary magnet. And of course, magnets stick to steel. When we heat treat, we are going to check for critical temperature of the steel. At critical temperature, steel loses its magnetic properties. That's what tells us all those atoms are swimming around in there and they're almost, they're in a kind of a solid liquid state. So when we feel those atoms all in that state, the way we tell is by a magnet. When this magnet does not stick to our blade anymore, I know I've reached critical temperature. And at critical temperature, I'm gonna do my hardening quench, which locks the molecules in a particular formation. When I learned, we, did, we quenched it in water, which makes a really nice hard edge. I've experimented with using Super Quench, which is giving me an even harder edge than I was getting with just quenching in water alone. And the Super Quench is basically water with other things added to it, which prevents the, the water from steaming up around the steel so that you're getting sort of a fresh flow of liquid in contact with the steel. If you just quench in water, you're basically creating a, an area of steam all the way around your piece. So the super quench, it's just a mixture of water and salt and dish soap and there's tons of recipes out there that you can find on the internet. Uh, look it up and see what works for you. But that's its purpose is to uh, give us a faster cooling. I generally like to mix it up a bit just to make sure that there's nothing, no solids at the bottom. Now I'm only worried about heating the blades on this at this point. I'm going to do them one at a time because I don't want to miss that critical temperature. One more thing I'll say about quenching, when you're quenching steel, mild steel, you can throw it in water and you can go in figure eights up and down. You can kind of go in whatever direction you want. Um, with knives, you want to go into that water and you want to do a cutting motion back and forth. Any movement side to side is a movement that can help cause a warp in the blade or promote a warp. So when I put it in, it's a quick dunk and then it's, it's like as if I'm cutting back and forth into that super quench formula. So let's see where we're at with this blade. So this magnet is not sticking up here. It's sticking down there. And I still have a little bit of... I do have blade down there, so I'm going to go in a little further and make sure that I've got all that at critical temperature. After doing them for a while, you kind of get an eye for it, but it's always nice to check and make sure that you're doing it exactly by the book. So checking that blade, my magnet's not sticking. 
it's, sti it's only sticking on the handle. It's not sticking to the blade at all. So I know I'm at critical temperature. So what I'm gonna do is pull this out and quickly go straight into this formula of super quench and cut back and forth in the water. And I keep going until I stop hearing little crackles and pops. And I'm going up and down a little bit and I'm going, doing the cutting motion and a bit of up and down because I don't want to create a, a very hard and soft temper line between the softer steel of the handle and the now hardened steel of the uh, blade. So if you can see that color and that blackness, that's kind of the look you get once you pull it out of that super quench. So now we've hardened this blade to the point where it will take an edge and hold a decent edge. And you'll notice that we're back to being magnetic again. I've switched to my 120 grit belt. And I'm just gonna do my finish grind on here. And then we'll get into finishing. If you can see, wherever I've polished, it's gonna darken that immediately. <laughs> 